skew lines two non parallel and non intersecting lines are called skew lines or in other words we can define it as two non coplanar and non intersecting lines are called skew lines this is just like like these two pens these two pens lie in the different planes and they are not intersecting so we can understand skew lines with this example because on paper it is difficult to understand as I've told in my previous videos it is impossible to depict a three-dimensional concept on a two-dimensional plane so now we'll discuss shortest distance the shortest distance between two skew lines let sorry the perpendicular <coughs> distance between two skew lines between two skew lines are called is called sorry sorry this is not a straight skew so the perpendicular distance between two skew lines is called the shortest distance or the length of the perpendicular between two skew lines is called the shortest distance
which is written as SD in short. Now we are going to discuss how to find the shortest distance the shortest distance which may also be written as SD between two SQ lines let us underline this because this is the main topic of the article Now let x minus x1 upon a1 is equal to y minus y1 upon b1 is equal to z minus z1 upon c1 and x minus x2 upon a2 is equal to y minus y2 upon b2 is equal to z minus z2 upon c2 b two sq lines and now we have to find out the sd between these two sq lines so step one first let x minus x1 upon a1 is equal to y minus y1 upon b1 is equal to z minus z1 upon c1 is equal to lambda and x minus x2 upon a2 is equal to y minus y2 upon b2 is equal to z minus z2 upon c2 is equal to mu so in this way we find the general points on these two straight lines and the general points of on a straight line is this point which may be assumed anywhere so by these two conditions the coordinates of a general point on line 1 are sorry I have written by mistake are lambda a1 plus x1 comma lambda b1 plus y1 comma lambda c1 plus z1 and those of the general point on line 2 general point 
on line 2 are mu a2 plus x2 comma mu b2 plus y2 mu a2 plus x2 comma mu b2 plus y2 comma mu c2 plus z2 these are the two general points on the given uh, the uh, given skew lines so let these two are skew lines and let us draw a common perpendicular to both of them so this is 90 degree and this is also 90 degree and this is shorter distance between them so PQ is the shortest distance between the two skew lines so as I told you the general point may be assumed anywhere so we assume the coordinates of P as lambda A1 plus X1 lambda B1 plus Y1 and lambda a c1 plus z1 similarly we assume the coordinates of q mu a2 plus x2 comma mu b2 plus y2 comma mu c2 plus z2 now by the concept the direction ratios of a line passing through the two points direction ratios of the line 1 are a1 b1 c1 and direction ratios of line 2 are a2 b2 c2 now the direction ratios of pq may be find may be found uh, with the help of the concept that the direction ratios of a straight line passing through two points x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 may be given as x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1 so in step 2 we find direction ratios of pq with the help of these arbitrary coordinates which we have found in terms of lambda and mu so lambda a1 plus x1 minus mu a2 minus x2 second direction ratio lambda b1 plus y1 minus mu b2 minus y2 third direction ratio lambda c1 plus z1 minus mu c2 minus z2 since PQ is perpendicular to L1 and L2 both so the condition of perpendicularity may be applied to both of them so by the condition of perpendicularity condition of perpendicularity between L1 and PQ we have A1 into lambda A1 plus X1 minus mu A2 plus minus X2 bracket close plus B1 bracket lambda A1 plus X1 sorry Y1 lambda b1 plus y1 minus mu b2 minus y2 bracket close plus c1 into lambda c1 plus z1 minus mu c2 minus z2 is equal to 0 Similarly, applying multi uh, perpendicularity condition uh, with L2, we, have, we may have A2 into lambda A1 
plus x1 minus mu a2 minus x2 plus b2 into lambda b1 plus y1 minus mu b2 minus y2 plus c2 into lambda c1 z plus z1 minus mu c2 minus z2 is equal to 0. After simplifying these two equations for lambda and mu, we may find the value of lambda and mu. Then substituting these values of lambda and mu to the coordinates of P and Q, we may find the coordinates of the points P and Q. And after that, we may find the length PQ by distance formula. So this is how we find shortest distance between two SQ lines.